This is my balcony. It's 7.30 in the morning on, on Friday. Um, Friday, July 8th. And there's Pip and Max and Sam. Anyway, it's 7.30 in the morning on Saturday, July 8th. A crazy day because, um, well, not crazy for me necessarily, but there's, there are huge, huge demonstrations planned for downtown. That'll start picking up soon. It's the holy day. It's Friday. And now we'll go look at some graffiti. Here we go. Any second. Yes, I'm still moving all the way. Um, should be getting going this morning. Um, like just while all this stuff is still up in the wall, I'm just waiting for it. my graffiti camera. I'm just slowing down here because this is one of my favorite buildings. It's a villa or maybe either a single residence or a fairly group happened a number of flats. But it's just really, really grand. I'm not sure if it's captured on camera. kinds of graffiti. Not that interesting, so I've kind of skipped over a bunch. Uh, a few blocks from my place, near a mall, but one of the more curious pieces of graffiti in the midst of all the revolutionary stuff. We'll get to it, but 
I'll show you the revolutionary stuff. So you'll often see the crescent and the cross together just to show unity among Christians and Muslims. They both love peace. A lot of support for Libya recently, of course. January 25th, 2011. This is one I've taken a photograph of before to show you. I only showed you the left half of this. I didn't realize it continued to the right. I don't know what it says in Arabic there, but this I'd shown you earlier. And just some more various ones. Hey, Matthew. Yeah. You are What's that? I don't want a paper. What's that? Oh, we want a pump? Oh, sure, yeah, okay. Okay, back to the program. Facebook tributes, we will something. We are Egyptians, take care. Pattern. That's actually cute. Fight like an Egyptian. Now this is this is a, an image <clears throat> that's gotten a fair bit of coverage or a use in media recently. So I sent you a photograph of this, but I know it's been used in, in online publications recently. Again, the cross and crescent um, underlining the respect message. The checkerboard goes with anything. Freedom. More faces. And we'll just muddle along here for a little bit. More traditional graffiti. Well, in terms of the North American style, of very expressive organic swooshes. In Arabic, however, for the most part. But, finally, Typography, which is pretty awesome, I think. Um, there you go. It's not a scam. I really do live near this, and it really is in Cairo, in the midst of a bunch of revolutionary graffiti. It wasn't a joke. I'm afraid... They've painted over. I'm so glad I got a picture of this. This used to be a great image of a robot mummy, which I actually have a photograph of, which is I'm thankful for now. Anyway, that's that. Um, things should be heating up down in Tahrir shortly. It's still probably not 8 o'clock, though, but it's funny. I'm going to wipe this off a bit.
Okay, that's that. So, the situation will be amazing in Tahrir because not only are millions of people expected to attend, but everybody, almost regardless of political leaning or anything, is going to be there. Because everyone's unhappy with the military government. And um, it could be great, it could be peaceful, but uh, a friend of mine wrote to me last night, like, God save our country and God and protect us all. A little foreboding. And I'll just go back out where it started. It's a bit more busy out here now. Well, we have one car, two cars. Some sounds of the street. Anyway, during the revolution. Oh, during the revolution. Oh, I didn't ride over to the prison. It's just a block of the side of these buildings here. Six thousand prisoners were let out and went nuts. So the police could feel important and recapture them all or kill them. And um, you may have heard about vigilantism all over the place, but it was the good kind. Um, every man with a family interest in a neighborhood would camp out on these streets. Uh, every block, every intersection had at least half a dozen guys with a campfire at night. But everyone has had knives and bats. This was all fantastically occupied by all the men who were protecting their wives and families in these buildings. And it was really, I really grew to love this neighborhood a lot. Not only is it a good location as far as shops and groceries and stuff, but just the spirit, just really, it was great. Exciting. And then there was, well, the gunfire, which had spice to anything, if you ask me. Anyway, all that was to show you a typography example in graffiti. Okay, see ya.